So your renders are really noisy or just excruciatingly slow. <laughs> In three minutes, I'll show you the best Cycles render settings for clean and fast results. I have this pretty heavy scene here, lots of translucency and transparency, awesome fog, so let's optimize the settings that we go from one and a half hours to one and a half minutes or less. Let's go to the render tab. First, make sure you use Cycles and GPU Compute, obviously. Then activate Noise Threshold. This feature tells the renderer to stop sampling a pixel once its noise level drops below that value. I like to go with 0.1 here, but if your scene is very noisy or you don't want to use denoising, put in a lower value like 0.01. .01. Next is our maximum sample number. This depends on your scene, but I like to start really low, like 100 samples, and increase it later if I think the result is too noisy. Now let's enable denoising. Use optics for video and open image denoiser for single frames. This is an image, so we're going to use open image denoiser. After that, we customize our light paths. You never need the volume bounces, even if you have a volume, so always set it to zero. The transparent bounces will determine through how many transparent surfaces the camera can see, so if I set this to a really low in the value like 3. The plants get these dark shadows like that and start to look bad. With a number like 20, those disappear. Mm, depending on how many transparent materials you have in your scene, you might need to crank this up pretty high, but for this little scene, 10 is enough because we want to save render time, right? Um, 6 glossy bounces and 5 diffuse color bounces are usually enough. And because we have some translucent plants, we need translucent bounces, 8 should be more than enough. By the way, if you want a faster preview, just enable render region in the output tab. Back in the render tab, we need to check if caustics have an effect on our render. Sometimes they have, then we'd want to leave them enabled, but in our case the effect is minimal, so we save render time by turning it off. Same thing goes for fast GI approximation, but this time, if it makes no difference, turn it on instead of off. For video, turn on motion blur, if you need a transparent background, check transparent under the film dropdown, and only for videos, check persistent data in the performance dropdown. Now let's switch to the output tab to check our resolution and change the location where the file will be saved. Now, by default, the format is always JPEG. Don't use that, use PNGs for higher image quality and crank the compression up to the maximum because PNG compression only makes the file smaller without reducing image quality, which is really great. Now, if we hit F12 and render our image, we get this image. In 1 minute and 25 seconds! If you want me to explain what exact effect all settings have on your image and make an in-depth tutorial, write it in the comments and also check out this awesome video on how you can make procedural buildings. Like and subscribe to grow this channel and have a nice day. Bye!